So welcome to the world of autoclaves for AAC. AAC means aerated autoclaves concrete blocks. So the autoclave is a major part of it. Today we will discuss in detail regarding the autoclave manufacturing, the process, the safety features and the certifications you need. So when we are talking about the autoclave, there are three important features that we must discuss about. Number one, its safety features. Number two, the product specification and number three the process which must be followed for this particular pressure vessel. So the most important thing regarding autoclaves is its pressure rating. It is a pressure vessel. For AAC you need 1.2 MPa or 12 kg per cm square but the working pressure for which we design is 1.6 MPa but we do test it like this you can show. We do test it for 1.6 and a safety factor so it is being water tested for 2.5 MPa or 25 kg per cm square and kept it like this. The external agencies will come and they will certify it. So, but the water testing they come at a later stage after the whole autoclave is complete. Before that during the process there is a DP test for welding. DP means dry penetration test for the welding uh, uh, joints. And of course, after the DP is done, a well thought X-ray is done after the work is finished. X-ray is done for all the joints and X-ray is done 100% for all the T's what you face. So that the X-ray is cleared, after X-ray, we close the doors, then we offer it to third party inspectors who will certify it. And remember, in China, no autoclave can leave factory without a certification. It is just like we have boiler certification in all other countries and in India. But in China, autoclaves also come under the category of certification. Without certification, no autoclave is allowed to be sold. Without certification, no autoclave is allowed to be sold. So here we are, Dongyu's autoclave manufacturing facility. Now, we will see step by step process how the autoclaves are manufactured and what supreme standard that is being followed for the manufacturing of autoclave from all shapes and sizes. Let's go. So it all starts with the raw material selection. Obviously this is boiler blade. So the plate must be also boiler blade. You can see here, it is British standard. Clearly you can see British standard boiler steel. And I can show you, yeah, this is 3G345R. So these are the basic raw materials. These are the same materials which are formed to make boilers and these plates are being brought they go into the CNC machine there now the plates are being cut in this CNC section as per the desired shapes and sizes and then they go into the rolling section so from cutting it comes to the bending section there are two types of bending done one is pre-welding bending and one is post-welding bending so in pre-welding bending it's bent it's being fitted it's being submerged arc welded so that there is no defects on the root first inside welding is done then outside gouging then outside welding and once these three processes are done it again goes into the rolling mill and it gets a perfect round shape like this this is the sectional shape now we'll go into the joining of the sectional shape so again those sections come here they are joined together first fitted then inside welding that to submerged arc welding by the robotic arm welder i will show you later come you can see that is the robotic arm welding machine now that does first inside welding then they do outside gouging then again same robot arm makes outside welding see the finish there is no defect absolutely there is no flux entrapment so the weldings are proper and it can actually take the pressures up to 25 kg per cm square to exceed the standards that is needed for AAC industry now to keep the accuracy level high these are the automatic rollers which feed to the robot arm uh, welding machine they are interconnected so these rollers are the rollers, series of rollers on which the autoclave stands and autoclave keeps on rotating and as it keeps on rotating the robot arm it itself adjusted to do the welding automatically. So there is no human error, there is no flux entrapment and the chances of welding failure is very minimal. So basically that is how the body is being made and after the body is being made the ring of the rails you can come and see the ring of the rails. The rails are not welded. They are hinged. That means 
during the heating expansion of the autoclave or rails they are free to move so that there is absolutely dead stress on the autoclave body so if body expands more than rail or rail expands more than body it doesn't matter because you know they are not welded together they are free to move so that there is no stress absolutely on the autoclave body another most important part of manufacturing process after the body is the doors now i will also explain you the way the doors are being made the flanges are being made what standards is being followed let's go so now talking about the flanges of both male and female which goes onto the body and onto the door first of all after we come back from the vertical lathe where these flanges are very accurately machined it comes for the teeth joining it comes directly onto a machining section why machining section many people do gas cutting for the teeth but gas cutting gives a dead load it weakens the body you can see here with this cnc machine it is being accurately machined so you can see okay so that there is no dead stress and the shapes and sizes are accurate there is no thermal stress that's why the quality remains the desired quality and it exceeds the quality requirement of an aac index so the flanges are done the automatic machining is done now is the question how it is welded we need a special robotic machine for that and this is the rotator that is the welding arm and as per formula that does the welding without any flex and entrapment and same process is followed first one side welding other side gouging after gouging and root defects are removed the other side welding no flex and entrapment because it's a flexless welding or submerged arc welding where flex simply peels off it doesn't go into the welding like all other weldings so what you get is a perfect joint on the doors on the flanges for uh, autoclave doors so the flange needs to be perfectly machined for complete round with a very high level of tolerance and zero stress during the manufacturing such a big flange we cannot do with ordinary lathe that's why there is a vertical load where it sits perfectly flat and we can do the machining with this cnc vertical lathe machine so basically autoclave you can have a clear manufacturing but still there must be some safety provisions which will avoid human errors means in autoclave manufacturing we must give provisions so that you know human errors can be totally minimized for example one standard equipment of course that also you have in your pressure cooker is a safety valve so by chance they feed they feed too much of steam high pressure the safety valve setting opens up usually we set it at 13 or 13.5 depending on the uh, procedure so that it opens up and autoclave remains within the stipulated pressure let's go the general causes of accidents in autoclaves especially what we have seen in aac since last few years is accidental opening of doors by the operator when still there is steam so we have provision to block that see this is a mechanical lock this door is now in the open position when the door is in closed position this we will lock it unless we lock it which is connected to the steam valve the steam won't get charged steam will get discharged so to steam up i need to lock this up so the steam is up when autoclave cycle is over suppose i need to open it this really blocks the teeth so to unlock it i need to bring it this position and this position in fact uh, releases the excess steam here and the operator who is opening here knows that there is steam inside pressure inside so this is one beautiful mechanical lock by which you can avoid that accidents that uh, the, the suppose the pressure meter is showing wrong and he accidentally opens so it will not allow to open so what he has to do he has to release this mechanical lock with release of this mechanical lock if any pressure is there inside it gets uh, it gets released there is also number 2 there is a electronic lock mechanism which holds this break so when my handle is in lock position the electronic lock actually breaks the gearbox so there is double protection system one is a mechanical lock system you will not be able to open the door when there is steam inside and other is electronic lock system which will not allow this gearbox to be removed or gearbox to be operated while still steam is inside so whenever you are procuring autoclave for your aac plant be safe be secure check the production procedure of aac autoclave manufacturer and monitor it each step ask for the conformity certificate from the third party check for x ray also check for water testing so that your plant remains safe sturdy and all the best